Welcome back to the criminal trial process. Today we're looking at the adversary system. This will be short, this will be sharp. So we know that the adversary system of trial is what we commonly use in Australia. Under the system of trial there are two opposing parties, the prosecution and the defence. Both present evidence for determination by an independent third party. The independent third party depends on the court and it will be a magistrate or judge and jury, and or jury, sorry. The court ruling can be appealed. There are laws which govern the admission of evidence at trial, as well as the use of judicial discretion by the magistrate or judge in relation to the admissibility of evidence. The prosecution and the defence determine the evidence which will be brought before the court for consideration in the criminal trial. This is in contrast to the inquisitorial system where the judge can play a more active role in determining areas for inquiry. So we have some criticisms of this system in the context of crime and that is particularly it can be argued that it reduces the court to a battleground where the focus becomes about winning and losing rather than revealing the truth and may or may not result in a criminal conviction. Specifically in the area of sexual assault cases, some commentators and victims' rights groups have maintained that the adversarial nature of the court process, um, which can on occasion be characterised by aggressive cross-examination and opposing counsels, traumatises the victims and perhaps even acts as a deterrent to others in terms of reporting crimes, as they may wish to avoid this cross-examination process. The alternative view is that, as criminal charges involve serious consequences for the accused if proven, it is essential that all evidence be tested as rigorously, you can kind of insert aggressively, as possible to ensure that the protection, oh sorry, that the prosecution can prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. So we know that both systems, or both sides rather, get the opportunity to present their sides of the case. However, like anything with two teams or two sides, there can be a great imbalance in the, the skills, resources, knowledge of the different legal teams. And that can either be very advantageous or can be a huge disadvantage depending on which side you are, you are on. And in this, you need to consider what is fair and equitable for larger society in terms of accessibility 